Hi everybody, so we're going to go ahead and talk about stringing your bow. So the first thing you have to have notice is that when you hold up your string like this, one side is usually shorter than the other. And this one appears they're roughly the same size, but you want to put the shorter size on the bottom. So, now that I pulled this off this way, and you're going to attach it here in the groove on the bottom. Make sure that the string is also in the groove here. So there's a groove here and a groove here for some bows. If your bow doesn't have that groove, just make sure that it's within these two wedges here so it doesn't stick out. And you're gonna pull this taut. Now when it's tight or taut like this, you can go ahead and step through with your leg. You wanna put this side here on your shin and the handle behind your hip. So you'll see the handles here behind my hip and I've got one of the limbs on my shin and I'm not gonna pull the string at all. So all I'm doing is I'm pushing this limb with my upper body and attaching the string to it. And again, it goes right within this groove and in the groove here on the limb. And that is how a bow is strung. So you can see how it's supposed to look. It looks like this. It's important to note that you don't generally reverse string a bow unless you have a reason. Reverse stringing, what you do is rather than remove the string, which you don't necessarily want to do because you have to recheck the brace height all the time, you just go ahead and slide the string down here onto the limb. So the string is still attached to the bow. When you restring it, the brace height will be the same. Reverse stringing, you would rotate this, slide the string up, and put it on the top limb. Now this bow is reverse strong, so it's not good for shooting. Um, this is not how your bow should look. Some manufacturers recommend reverse stringing to keep tension in the bow so that it reverses the tension that you normally have on it, but this is not how you shoot with it. So again, what you'll do is make sure that you go ahead and put the string down, slide it around, make sure it's in the link here, step through, limb on the shin, handle on the hip, and then again, just push the limb. You don't need to pull the string at all. There's no pressure applied to the string, it's all on the limb. And once it's in the groove here, make sure it's in the groove down here, and you should be good to go. Thank you.